Halloween candy. I guess now that we have the attention of the kids in the room, we actually want the parents to pay attention to this right now. Uh, joining me are Lisa Harst and Molly Pearson. Happy Halloween, ladies. Happy Halloween. And we're <laughs> <laughs> happy Halloween. Uh, <laughs> what we really want to talk about today is Halloween candy. Of course, all the kids are excited. And I guess the parents, you know, it's a little exciting too. But you get so much of it these days. You know, yeah. you, it's just like an overload. Let's talk about what you can do with all the stuff that is left over. Because, I mean, there's no way. Are kids eating all of this candy? Well, at least they shouldn't be, right? No. <laughs> and a lot of people, if you have more than one kid, you're going to end up with buckets of candy at your house. You yeah. know, so there's a lot of different alternatives and options to do with the candy. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I have um, on my blog is a recipe for brownies that calls for, like, mixed chopped candy bars. Oh, nice. So there's ways to incorporate it into baking for fun or... Um, you can even donate it. There's tons of places around town that'll take candy. Mm -hmm. I know of, um, there's also a buyback program. I know John Franco Dentistry is one that they give like a dollar per every pound of candy. And that's something fun for your kids because for kids, you know, they can go buy something with their money. Oh, or absolutely. It's just like yeah. a fun thing to do instead of having people let that candy sit around till next year, you know? Yeah, so. exactly. Definitely. That's very, very good advice. What about you, Molly? What do you think is the best thing to do with all of that extra candy? Well, I usually try to divide some of it up mm -hmm. and leave a little bit of it out and, you know, I'll allow the kids to have maybe one piece for a night for the next week or so. Yeah. And to be honest, like, they forget about it. Yeah. So I usually, I mean, honestly, we end up throwing a lot of it out, yeah. which is kind of a waste. So. Let me ask you this. John and I earlier in our health news today, we had talked about alternatives and health alternatives to get what you give out. And, um, you know, the, a lot of health experts suggest the apples and the raisins. What do you guys really think about that? I mean, Colton wouldn't eat raisins. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, realistically, is that uh, a bit extreme? I mean, I would think it is. My kids would eat the raisins, honestly, yeah. and I've seen them get the apples. I mean, I'm actually, the apples make me more nervous than candy does because, yeah. you know, you always have the concern of what somebody's doing it to it. But right. um, this year, my aunt always makes the kids a little bag, and she actually put Play-Doh in there. Instead oh, of all the candy, idea. or did okay. um, she actually did goldfish too? So yeah. you know, I think there are a lot of alternatives to just giving candy. I mean, I've seen people give like twenty-five cents or yeah. you know a penny or something like that, which yeah. everybody kind of takes a penny and is like, right. "What's this?" But you know, <laughs> I mean, to me, it's better than yeah. it's actually better than yeah. than the candy. So there are options out there. Definitely, absolutely. There's Definitely. even like toy, like small toys. Like Colton got a slinky. You know, yeah. there's like little things, and for a kid, really a good slinky idea. Yeah. is so much fun. Like right. he got, he actually had two slinkies, and then a, they were like little tiny things of Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. Like she said, he got a Play-Doh. Those are things that are fun yeah. and are much more useful than all the candy. Absolutely. And real quick, we want to touch upon this tonight, of course, because of the weather. You guys said that, um, is it Bass Pro Shops yep. is Bass, having indoor? Yeah, in Perrysburg, they have um, trick-or-treating tonight for anybody that it's been canceled for. So um, I believe on their website, it's either like five to five to eight or six to eight or something like that so okay. but all the information is on their website it's inside so if it's raining nobody has to worry about being cold and getting wet and the kids <laughs> right. will still get to go out and have a good time all right ladies some very good halloween advice from our moms on the go of course they'll be back with us next hour and all of this information is on our website northwestohio.com and on their blog momsandheels.net and Halloween is the subject here with our moms on the go today. Joining us is Molly Pearson and Lisa Harst. And first of all, we want to let everybody know that they have a contest going. So uh, let's talk a little bit about this. You guys also have a brand new Facebook page. Yeah. Oh. Tell us a little bit about that, we Lisa. Just start our Facebook page, WNWO Moms on the Go. And um, we're going to do a contest through that where we want to find the best costume or the cutest costume for your kids. So we want, we're encouraging everyone to tag us in your photos or even email us photos. Um, you can email us the photos at momsandheels at AOL.com or just tag us in any of the photos on Facebook is really the easiest way. Okay, and yeah. um, we'll go through next week. We'll pick a winner and we also have a bunch of prizes. Uh, there's going to be prizes. Yeah. Tell us about the prizes, Molly. Um, we have first, second, and third. And first place will actually be a gift certificate with Allie. Oh, um, Her to have, photos are beautiful. Yeah, oh, yeah to have pictures taken um, along with a $20. $25 gift certificate to Swig in Perrysburg. Nice. Um, second place is a $10 gift certificate to Grow Smart Toys. And Lisa's going to have to help me out here. Because <laughs> <laughs> the other one is Lullaby Lane. $25 yep. to Lullaby Lane in Fallen Timbers. Yep. That's for second. Yes. So you get both of those. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And then third is 
cupcakes. Yeah. Yep. All right. A dozen yeah. free cupcakes from Sweet Addiction. And all they have to do is submit a photo of their kids in their Halloween costume. Yeah. Yep. All right. Again, WNWO Moms on the Go Facebook page or the email again is Moms and Heels at AOL. Yes. All right. And uh, make sure you send those. Great contest. All right. Let's talk a little bit more about Halloween trick or treating. Of course, some things have been delayed, but it does look like overall, whether they happen tonight or in the next couple of days. Trick or treating will happen. First of all, let's talk about the importance of dressing for this weather. So Take it away, Lisa. It's freezing. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> it's, I feel bad because, like, you know, Colton's so excited to go. Oh, so if yeah. it gets canceled or it's so cold, I'm just going to feel bad that he's, I feel like it'll be kind of miserable, but mm -hmm. it'll still be fun. But I don't even know, you know, I have a six month old, so it's like, am I going to take him? I have to bundle him up definitely if I do. Goodness. So the weather. I just take some pictures inside. I would do. <laughs> he's never going to Just remember. go to Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> yeah, I'll just take him to Bass Pro <laughs> Shop. And inside. speaking of that, let's talk a little bit about that. It's happening tonight, correct? Yeah, it's happening tonight in um, Perrysburg, mm -hmm. um, somewhere between five and six to eight. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you'll be inside. I think they're giving out candy throughout the whole um, the whole store. Very good idea. Yeah, Bass Pro yeah. Shops in Perrysburg, and of course, definitely research that information. We're not sure of the exact stuff, but you guys will probably post that on your yep. WNWO yeah. Moms on the Go Facebook page. All right, also, what to do with that leftover Halloween candy? <laughs> yeah. um, and there should be some left over because these days we all know kids get a lot of candy. Uh, give us a couple ideas for what to do with it. Um, a few ideas. One we mentioned earlier was to, you can actually bake with it. There's a recipe for brownies out there where you can, it calls for, you know, a handful or more of a dozen chopped up variety of candy bars mm -hmm. and you always get a million different types of candy bars. Mm -hmm. So that's a fun way to bake with the chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, I know you can also donate it. There's mm -hmm. places in town that do buyback programs for candy so kids get money for turning in candy. Yeah, a lot of good ideas. Yeah. That's great. They don't need to eat it all for sure. Well, ladies, thank you so much. Our WNWO Moms on the Go. Find their Facebook page, like them on Facebook. And uh, always nice to see you guys and happy Halloween.